Hey, everybody. So in my last video, Steve P7346 left a comment. Silicone is fairly flame retardant. A properly molded and sized silicone exit orifice would produce a continuous fart noise the entire time this device goes off. This is a bad idea and you should do it. I expect it to not improve in performance of the device in any way. <laughs> so that had 565 likes and a whole bunch of additional comments. And I replied, I'm on it, pinning this comment to hold me accountable. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna, we're gonna make this a mold for some silicone, right? So first we'll add some Vaseline as a release agent. We have some water here and some dish soap. Uh, the glycerin in the dish soap will catalyze the curing of silicone. So it has to be silicone type one. I, I've done this millions of times uh, at work uh, when I cast um, like custom trim and I have to we have to duplicate some sort of uh, crazy trim or archway or something. And uh, and what I'll do is I'll make a silicone mold and then cast it in architectural molding resin. Um, I'm just gonna dump this. Yeah. I would say that is approximately good. Yeah, so anyway, here, now you can pick it up and mold it. Oh, that's great news. Okay, so uh, we're kneading this and you can feel it start to harden. It's, it's very kind of weird. It, um, it's like firm but squishy, obviously, but it's just like, wow, how did that just squirt out of a tube of silicone? Cool, bro. All right, so the glycerin in the soap has started to catalyze this reaction. Uh, silicone, when it cures, it releases acetic acid. I should say silicone type one, when it cures, releases um, acetic acid, so it smells like vinegar. Uh, mm, people don't like that. So, I'm just gonna squish this to, to basically become a disc. So this will cure in place to pr produce a fart valve. All right, so this can cure for like 15 minutes. It'll harden. Okay, so there you go. That is gonna, we're gonna set that aside to let that cure. This is just a standard TPA mix. Um, you can find that and a bunch of other recipes on my website, inventionincarnate.com. All right, so here's a pull string igniter. These kits I sell on inventionincarnate.com. All right, so here's some time fuse. See here, going to punch this. All right, punch that hole through there. And then put some visco fuse through that time fuse. And then I'm just gonna put a dab of CA glue if I can find it. Here it is. To hold the fuse in place. And some activator. <coughs> and then this can go inside of the can. This can go inside of the fuse, of the igniter. Uh, that's good enough for government work. All right, so now we're just letting things cure. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, my microphone was not plugged in, I guess. Well, anyway, hopefully the audio is better now. So what I've done is this plaster has set. I drilled a hole over here on the side, kind of screwed it up, and it blew apart, but I don't really care all that much. And now I'm drilling a 5 8 inch hole down the center. And there it goes way off to the side. All right, well, this is a cool new composition I'm testing right now, uh, made out of lamp black. My goal is with this is to create a silent mousetrap ignition formula.
All right, so I'm taking this and I'm just shoving it down there. That's just a primer. And then this can come and route down there as well. Alright, so now we have this in position there. Ooh. And I'm going to take this disc and do one slice down the middle so that I don't want it to be an open hole because I want it to make a farting noise, you know? So we we'll figure if we have a, a slice that's more prone to return to its initial position that it'll be more likely to make a farting noise. <laughs> Guess hopefully it won't rip. Okay. All right, so here's our, our first test of fart valve smoke device. Dude, that actually was a great way to dampen it. Okay, so this is a version two. Um, it's the same kind of disc, yeah, silicone disc. However, I cut a shorter slit in it, um, but then I added some slime up on top here, and I added a waterproof fuse covering, and I'm just gonna light it this time. I figured it was better than having a through wall penetration um, that diverts the smoke. All right, here we go. Sadly, to date, our fart valve experimentation has been a failure on that front. However, we learned something much more valuable, which is uh, a solution to the issue of TPA flare-ups, right? All right, so just in summary, I'll say two of my favorite compositions are the HC composite mix and the TPA mix. The problem with the TPA mix is that it always flares up both upon ignition and sometimes throughout the duration of the smoke output. The problem with the HC composite is that hexachloroethane, just to handle it, is carcinogenic. And the smoke is uh, not like acutely toxic, but it's pretty toxic um like i would not recommend playing airsoft or paintball with hc smoke i would say those hc smoke smokes should be used for like end of the world scenarios or something <laughs> like in on that front um now this silicone fart valve experiment gave us a design which will solve our problem of using safe TPA formulations out in the woods in, in wooded areas or um, high fire risk areas. So, and it also dawned on me that the devices that would be used for airsoft and paintball should be disposable because guess what?
<laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. The reality is, is that we lose them. We lose the the ignitions. We we the you know we lose the spoons. We could use a lanyard on the spoons, but that's so annoying. Um, so I was thinking I'm going to, my next video is going to basically be about making like large quantities of these TPA devices that can be used in airsoft and paintball. They're safe. They won't start fires. They're the same exact size as an M18 because that's what I did. I reduced the tube diameter to meet that and the tube length. And if you lose them, it's not the end of the world. So that's going to be the next video. I've already started that experimentation now. And okay, goodbye. I love you. <laughs>